What's going on everyone? Gramps Racing here and we're playing some Formula 1 today and wow you guys are in for a good one. There's some really good races today, really exciting stuff. Uh, so let's just get right to it. We're actually going to start off with some qualifying. Uh, this is I think the Hungarian track. Uh, but yeah, so we're qualifying so of course that means there can be no argy bargy, no ramming of any sorts. Uh, so basically we're just going to have to hit our marks and set basically our fastest time. So right now we're actually up by 0.8, but then we kind of go wide there, and uh, he actually starts getting the run on us. Uh, it's actually come down to about 0 0.31, 0 0.2. So uh, yeah, not 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 good. So with qualifying, one mistake really can mess your whole can mess your whole lap up. You can really mess yourself up. Uh, but just because you mess up once doesn't mean you should quit. Uh, we'll see an example of that later on. Uh, so now we're just actually kind of bringing that gap back up to one point, almost a second and a half. But as soon as we get that up, we go wide again. Uh, I feel like this race was kind of more like I messed up, then he gained some ground, then, then he messed up, and then I messed up. But actually now he's coming back at us. Uh, we're actually tied now. So this is a very, very close race, breaking at the same point. Try to get on the power a little bit. Try to get on early there, but I actually did not get on too early. And he breaks really early. We're going to try to get on the power a little bit better here. It's really, really close. He's not even a tenth away. We just have to get this final corner. And we finally got on the power early. And uh, we're going to almost drive off the track there. But we're going to go ahead and secure that win by only four tenths of a second. Or actually .34. So very, very close race. That was like one of the best qualifyings uh, I've done, I think, of showcase so far. So yeah, that was a good one. Uh, going now to Circuit of the Americas. This is going to be a grid start, and of course, that means we can actually be hit by other opponents, stuff like that. So, not the best of launches here. You can see he actually kind of gets away a little bit. But, as you can see in the top left, we're actually gaining a little bit. He spins out the AI there, a little bit of a red flag, I feel like. Uh, but, he actually gets a, a corner cut penalty. We're going to try to get away. He actually goes into the AI and tries to take us down. Just watch his name appear into the right side here real quick. He hits uh, the Red Bull there and then he just swings across right behind us. I think that was an attempted ram there uh, because he had the corner cut penalty. Uh, that's what a lot of dirty drivers do when they get a penalty. They just try to hit the AIs into you or just try to hit you when you try to pass them. So uh, yeah, we ended up winning that one though. So that was that was successful. We did not get rammed, and uh, we ended up with the W here. And it's just interesting because, like, when we look at the points here, you had 300 points in upgrades ahead of me. You know, he could have came back from that if I made some silly mistakes, but you know, they just they just go for the ram right away. Uh, so we're doing another grid start on Red Bull Ring, one of my favorite tracks here. Uh, let's see. We actually get a better start. Uh, guy goes goes right in through us. Uh, we get goes to that, which is nice. But he spins the AI again. This is like red flag alert, and he goes wide as a result. Um, and I was going to mention right on the the start, you know, he had a really good start, but I think his acceleration is a lot better than the car that I'm using. Uh, so yeah, a little 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 sketchy there in the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and try to claw our way back, going a little bit wide. I was going to try to go around the AI, uh, end up going way too wide, but we end up going past the AI regardless. So now uh, he's in second place, I'm in third place, there's no AI in front of us, which means I have basically a clear shot, I don't have to worry about overtaking any AIs. And uh, right up here, he actually goes extremely wide, there's a gap, and we're going to shoot for it, and he doesn't ram into us. Uh, I was I was very skeptical, I expected a complete, I expected him to go right into the side of me, after seeing him spin out the AIs. Uh, but yeah, no. We are just ahead by only half a second though, so it's still very close, it can be anyone's game. And like I said, I think his car is a little bit more upgraded. As you can see, he's actually bringing the gap down as we go on the straightaway. Uh, he's really close now, he's going to go for the inside line, I'm going to squeeze him a little bit, but give him just enough room. He gets a corner cut penalty, I go wide, and we're going to go ahead and get that victory. RIP that Mercedes, I don't know what happened there. But, he, that guy, I think that was maybe the car he, the, that my opponent hit, I don't know. But man, that was really close at the end. A uh, really good race, uh, again, I uh, was about down 300 upgrade points, so he had the faster car, but, you know, it doesn't matter when you're just a good driver. So, going now to Suzuka, uh, one of the best tracks, I think, to drive, like, a car with high downforce. The middle sector, you know, just the, like, the, or the beginning sector and the middle sector, just with all the flowing turns, it's just so fun. 
Uh, so this is qualifying. Again, you know, there's going to be no argy bargy here. Just going to hit our marks. And I mentioned earlier uh, that you don't you don't want to quit out if you make one mistake. Yes, one mistake can really mess you back or mess you up and set you back. Excuse me. Uh, but you don't want to quit all the way. But we are actually over a second ahead of our opponent here. Almost one point. We are over a second and a half. We're going to make it about two seconds now. Um, and we're coming up to this almost to sector three. And, you know, still have that second gap. So everything seems pretty pretty nice and dandy here. Um, so we're just going to try to, you know, continue the hitter marks. Uh, we actually go into the grass a little bit. Not the best idea. And he's brought the back the gap back down to about a second and you can see uh, while we're on the straightaway or the flat area where you're going straight flat he's actually brought that gap a lot farther down uh, so he definitely has the top end here and I just run over just uh, too much oversteer and now the guy with the higher top end is coming at me and you know he's gonna pass me and you know some people might quit right there I was feeling not the best uh, but make sure you just, you just gotta stay in it there's only one chicane left though so we gotta make sure we hit our marks here he goes super wide there loses all his momentum and we brought it back luckily on the final chicane i was pretty stoked about that uh you know that's just a just a you know just a learning you know never never quit never quit because they can make a mistake just as well as you so Pretty good race once again. Uh, the upgrades actually he had less overall, but he had more of a top end build. So you know you saw on the top end when we were both flat out. You know he definitely had the advantage there. But good race regardless. Uh, now we're going to Russia, and uh, yeah, I just forgot to steer there. So uh, yeah, not the best. We're gonna cut off the AI there, so we don't get passed. So yeah, we're down as you can see in the top left hand corner. We're down by a lot already. It's not even the first turn yet. And uh, yeah, we're down by 1.6, but we're actually bringing that gap down a little bit. So I think we have a little bit more top end. And uh, so we're just going to try to bring this back and see what we can do. So luckily, uh, the first there's a couple first straights here. So we're hopefully we'll gain some time back. And, you know, we just got to hit our marks and basically not crash like we did in Suzuka. And as I say, we got to hit our marks. He actually gets a corner cut. I see him kind of swerving. That's kind of a little sketch to me when they start swerving with a uh, penalty. Like I said earlier, uh, when dirty drivers get a penalty, they just start swerving and try. They just don't let you pass, basically. So that was kind of a red flag for me. But you know, uh, tucked in behind him, and you know, we were really close. But he actually brought the gap back up, and we're gonna go a little bit wide there. Not the best, uh, but we're only about six tenths away. So we just basically just gotta drive a little bit better, and uh, we actually once again you know brought it down to 0.5 and I think on the straightaway we're going to bring it down a little bit more so this is nice for us this is I believe the final straight so we got to do something good here we're going to go ahead and send it why not the guy breaks super early and uh, we luckily got ghosted out and yeah I, this is also I'm not going to say anything oh did you see how close that was to the wall I don't even think I saw a pixel let's look at this again I don't even see a pixel between me and the wall. Insane! I don't know how I didn't hit that. Uh, I'm just a god of a driver, I guess. Or extremely lucky. I think it's the latter. But yeah, uh, wow, that was a crazy race, I can't lie. Uh, the Russian track, I really like it. I know a lot of people in the Formula 1 community, like when they actually watch the real races and stuff, everyone kind of groans about this track. But I don't know, I like it. I think it's a good track. And that was a really exciting race right there. Let's see the upgrades here. I had... It was actually pretty tied, uh, about 15 points uh, advantage to me. So, you know, just about as even as you can get there. So our final race is going to be in Monaco, the most infamous track for no overtaking. And uh, we're starting behind our opponent, so that means we have to overtake him already. So that's not a good sign. And he's actually going to go ahead and get ahead of the AIs there. So this is not the best, but we actually get a good run here. And we're going to get past all three AI AIs in one corner. And as I say that, we're actually gaining on him just, just a little bit. And he's going to go a little wide. We're going to maybe tuck it around the outside. Not going to happen. But he overbreaks himself. And we're going to go past him. He gets ghosted out, luckily for us. Uh, thank you, system. Thank you, F1 system. Uh, so basically with this track, as I hit the wall, we both hit the wall. And I got ghost touch right there also. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, yeah. Not good. So we had this beautiful, beautiful overtake. 
And now we've lost it again, so we, we have to regain this. And it's already not looking good. He's almost uh, almost a full second away from us. So, yeah, it's looking tough for us right now. So, he actually gets another... Or, yeah, a penalty. Sorry, I'm thinking about the previous race. He gets a penalty. We have to go past him here. Oh, that's tough. That's close. We get ghosted out. Uh, I tried to leave room. It was just so... It's so hard on Monaco. It's just so hard. So now we just have to basically hold this together. Uh, he makes another mistake back there. As you can see, he just went to us. We got to a second ahead of him. But yeah, we're going to bring it home for a W. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Have a good day.